cabin's a nice treat, but I know that we're never gonna kill a goat from a cabin. After a restless sleep last night, which is not normal, normally I hit the sleeping bag and I'm pretty much out until it's time to get up again. But a lot of things going through my mind with the, the weather's gonna hold out or is he gonna be there? You know, so it wasn't, uh, it wasn't one of those normal sleeps for me, but also isn't a normal situation, so. We're pretty, pretty keen for that sun to come up over the horizon so I can get the glasses going again and see where he's at. But certainly it looks like the weather has cooperated. We've got some high cloud, but I think we are gonna get some sunshine. So that's a great thing. And it's just a matter of time. We'll find him. He has chosen the steepest, baldest face to hang out in on this whole mountain. So there's a reason why that Billy is as old as he is, because this is the kind of terrain that he hangs out in. Okay, so he just bedded down. He's been up since, well, who knows how long, but since we picked him up, he's been up moving around feeding and he just bedded down. We're just getting first light on the top of the mountain. So what we're gonna do is make sure we have everything we need for the day and start running. Raven, it's a good sign. He's laying down. He has a nice boat, but he's looking directly downhill at us. So we've got to take it slow through here. up again. I'm just gonna move right up here. Make sure that that's him. And we'll find him in there once we're up top, I think. Come down and then all the way up out of sight. Because now that he's standing, we don't know. Every time we look, he's, you know, he's aware. Anything that's growing up there, they eat it. Their whole world is a buffet. He's in some really steep country. So that's a concern for us of his potential to take a really big fall if we do get a shot. Those are things we have to really think about and maybe just wait. Could be another day of waiting, but eventually he's going to give us something. That's what we believe and that's what we're going to make happen. We're up on the ridge now. It's still quite a ways to where he was, but we haven't seen him now for 45 minutes. And the last we saw him, he was, he walked away. We have no idea where he is right now, but we're going to go find him. He's about 
120 to 150 yards away, just a little bit downhill from us. That is awesome. That is awesome. The wind, howling in your eyes. Oh, my leg is shaking right now. At a loss for words, the ability, or the opportunity to be able to have spent as much time watching this animal in its majestic and craggy habitat. We're very fortunate to have been able to make a good stock, an ethical shot, and to have harvested this magnificent animal. I think watching it for so long from the valley floor and learning its nuances and where he likes to live and what he was eating, where he was bedding, those are things that in a hunt that I don't normally get to do a lot of. And by making the decision to not go after him last night, was a great decision just to be able to watch him. So I'm very thankful for that and very thankful that we were able to make it happen today. Sometimes to take the time to see these animals before we, you know, go and pursue them is a big part of why we do this. And this, this hunt provided a lot more time than our typical hunts do to be able to observe these goats in the mountains. So it's gonna go down for me as one of the more special hunts I think this season. Goat tenderloin, straight off the mountain. Doesn't get a whole lot better than that. 